it is another day of working in the shop on the heavy wrecker. I've got some terrible news. It's not terrible news, it's good news. I'm gonna be gone all week. These guys are gonna be knocking out a whole bunch of stuff. They're gonna be working on the wrecker, not me. I'm gonna be flying. I'm gonna be speaking at Vid Summit, so that should be a riot. How prepared are you? Not. <laughs> Not. So Lizzie's gonna be welding. They've got a couple of things to finish on this. Here, put this on the record. I'm out of here. Farewell. So basically, I'm going to be. Lizzie don't even care. Lizzie don't even care that I'm leaving, Lizzie. <laughs> Oh, see ya. <laughs> we have these brackets. I don't even know what they're called, but Vlog made them for us. And I'm going to be finishing all of this plug welding and putting these things on, making it super strong. Welding a whole bunch. It's gonna be great. I'm supervising. So I got it tacked on in a few places. Now I'm just gonna burn it all in. And while Lizzie's doing that, I am going to set up the other side for her. We've got a special guest here. This is Josh from Sup, Bleepin' guys. Jeep. He's gonna give Lizzie some welding advice on this super thick metal. All right, so you got two different thicknesses of metal. This is gonna take a lot more heat than this, and uh, that's hot. It is very hot, is very I would hot. not recommend touching. <laughs> so when you're doing that, you kinda of wanna forget about your patterns. Don't worry about your C or your E. Focus on your puddle and focus the heat onto Down. the thick metal and yeah. then just work the puddle up onto yeah. onto this. That's kind of the easiest way. You forget about your patterns and just work the puddle. Mm -hmm. Basically, well, thanks. That looks pretty good. I like it. Sweet. All right, so while I was working on the other side, Trevor was putting this side together. And so we have the bottom layer, middle layer and the top layer so I'm gonna be tacking the bottom layer pulling it apart and welding it in completely and then finishing the rest of it doing great Lizzie thanks so I just got done welding the center piece in completely welded it bombed it in there as Matt would say and we're gonna work on something else let it cool and then we'll come back and finish it so why we are waiting for that other side to cool it down a little bit, we have these tabs from Barnes Four Wheel Drive. Go get your own, use the code MORR, and get 10% off your order. All right, I got the tabs welded, or I should say we got the tabs welded. And now look what they do. So here's the fuel lines. You're cutting across there. Swoop it over here. Now we're gonna head back over to the other side and get all of that welding finished up. And now, I think we are going to put the cab on, so I need to recruit some people. Josh is still here. You're game, right? I'm up for it. We're going to take Tucker. You're on my team. There's only one team, but you're on my team. Deal. We just about witnessed the vehicular manslaughter. 
So we started the day. Matt left this morning. He left us in charge to do some of this stuff. We got the brackets welded on and we got the other brackets welded on. <laughs> We got all the brackets welded on. We got on. all the brackets welded on. Trevor ran the fuel tank hose, and we got the cab on. And now we're going to roll it outside. We still got a lot to do this week. Right. We got the wrecker moved out, and we're going to move on to our next project. Four one. All right, we've been doing quite a bit of wheeling in this thing. <laughs> stuff's starting to wear out so we're gonna upgrade the suspension today our friends over at Bill Stein sent us some new 6112s for the front and some 5160s for the rear so we're gonna get those installed today let's slap them in so why fancy shocks on Tucker's vehicle well let me tell you this is not just a pavement princess this is more like a Pocahontas elegant I don't like that one. Just like Pocahontas, this thing goes off-road. Blazes new trails. I'll see myself out. headed out to San Hollow to test out Tucker's new suspension. So I'm super impressed. The ride quality is amazing. Firmer, but it's still soft, if that makes any sense. So thank you, Bill Stein. These things are awesome. I love them. We're back from Vid Summit. It's been a crazy, crazy couple weeks, but we're finally back on the heavy wrecker and we were just about to start working on it. And then these guys show up. Just, just Hello. looking. Just looking. Yeah. Rory's crew, all his Moab Motorsports. We have a lady up front that keeps riffraff from wandering back here. And these guys got and we past snuck her. through somehow. Yeah. So Rory's here to like sniff out the competition. He's gonna want to see exactly why he's getting second place. I hate to use the word competition. <laughs> so so when he gets beat here in a couple months on this day, he's gonna be like, that was the day I knew. I was taking second place. See, you copied my rust. Oh, I'm copying everything. <laughs> well, what do you what do you want to know? Like, I made a lot of this out of metal. What kind of metal? Well, I'm same. just asking because the skid plate on the uh, wreckers they are 500 bulletproof. Is it? Yep. I don't have any AR. <laughs> are you doing a sway bar? I am. So it's going to be coming through here somewhere. Gotcha. So um, I absolutely love the look of this thing. I mean, the rivet style. Yeah. Well, thank you. Like, I can't imagine the weight it adds. See that? So even though me and but Rory are, are com in competition with each other enemies. and fighting, mortal enemies. mortal enemies, he can still pay me a compliment. <laughs> so Rory, I think, I think Moab's nice. <laughs> what you got there? Uh, uh, I just happened to locate this free range Mountain Dew, just minding its own business. I figured I'd bring it in because it was cold. It's always good to see our friends from Moab. We're going to come over and say hi to second place Matt. Are you guys going to put up with that? Doesn't that have a good ring to it? I need you to go over to Rory's channel right now and tell Rory who's coming in first place. You know what? They're going to say Paul. They're going to say Paul. I shouldn't have done that. All right, so we had a strange package arrive here. It's a package to Robbie Layton, but it came to our, our address. I called Robbie. He says it's a transfer case for the Jeep that he's working on. 2011 JK, I believe. I think we should pull a little prank on him.
I'm hoping that Robbie's not going to be too mad because I do want this transfer case back. I'm not usually not one to prank. Like, pranks kind of annoy me, but I think this is a good one because he's going to be super excited to open this. So Robbie's going to be here in like 20 minutes, so we've just got to get this hidden. We put the Matt's Off-Road Recovery sticker inside here because we don't want him to call up Atlas and have a come apart on them. <laughs> we want him to know that, that we were here. Hey, how's it going? I got bad news. What's that? The golden nugget got stolen in California. <laughs> I don't believe that for a second. Let's go get it unloaded. Okay, fine. <laughs> Before you leave, your transfer case is there. Oh, my Atlas. Yeah. I wondered when this thing was going to show up. You must put the wrong address. Yeah. I no, can't wait. No one match my bed here for a few months. Just yeah. letting you think that it's going to come to the shop. Yeah, how long ago did you order that? Uh, probably two or three months ago. It's been here about almost a month. Oh, wow. Hillbilly grabbed this. Let's go get the nugget unloaded. And wait, time out. Do you have a dolly? Yes. I'm out of energy. Thank you. So it's another day of working in the shop. We've had a lot of things going on today. It's Trail Hero. We got friends in town. They're stopping in to see us. The work day's over and we're starting it like right now. Yeah, so it's five o'clock and, and yeah. What are we doing today, Tom? Today we're doing seats. We're working on the cab and we're going to get stuff figured out. Yeah, we're going to do some stuff over here. So we talked to PRP about getting some seats for this rig and they came through in a big way, I believe. So if they did what they said they were gonna do, I think we've got something really cool to show you. These have been opened and taped up. I know who it is. I gotta watch that guy. Oh, okay. Robbie must have done this. Thanks, Robbie. Now I don't feel bad about what I did to his transfer case. I hope you enjoy, Robbie. Just to show you who the bigger man is, instead of throwing this in the garbage, I'm gonna put it on our, on our fridge. But we're putting it on the bottom because I'm not that big of a man. That is a good looking seat. PRP, if you're listening, we sit in these kind of chairs in the shop. If I happen to get some of these that I could modify, I would build them up and I would sit in these in the shop instead of the old office chairs. These are comfortable. All right, so I guess the real question is, are these seats better than our current seating situation? So if those seats are an improvement over this, I would say that's a win. You look at that. These are a four point. How do I look? Dashing. Does this look like the top half of Lederhosen? <laughs> so after looking through our paperwork and looking through boxes, I forgot to order the adjustable sliders. So we're not gonna be able to really mess with these seats right now. So we're gonna move on to the next thing. And that next thing is firewall. That's gonna be a big thing. We had Schultzens bring us by this steel so we're going to be doing this firewall exactly the same way we did in the morver that's been working really good so we're just going to try it again see if we can get it right twice we have a gaping hole in here absolutely gaping all the way up in there oh man so the first thing we're going to be doing in here is we're going to be polishing up all this metal with this so that we can weld to it easily <laughs> So, started to build this. This will be the skeletal structure for the transmission tunnel. Moving up to the firewall. This is our first piece. These are not gonna be symmetrical. They're not gonna be mirror images of each other. And I'm okay with that, and you should be too. Ha! 
All right, so this other side we don't really care about because we don't have to have any pedals. But on this side, the driver needs to be as comfortable as possible. We have a way of testing these things here. Yeah, I think we need to wrap around that. You need more foot room? Yeah. That is really too bad. I got a plan. Is this where we want it? How's that? I think we're gonna be okay. Better? More foot room, but still not a ton of foot room, is it? No, it's, this is about how high I wanna be. So I'll just, you just be a gas on a brake right here. I think we just keep building it and then we work with what we got. Welding in these little tubes all over the place. It looks like a tiny little roll cage for Matt's feet. They're gonna be so happy and safe. Well, it's looking good. We're starting to get some structure to the doghouse. All right, look who showed up. Holly. What's you up? You haven't been here for like five months. Five whole months, people, but I'm back. What brings you out here today? Well, a friend of mine broke on TNT and he needs a stub shaft. I believe you have some axles that have the stub shaft that we've been trying to find for 24 hours and he's taking it out right now outside. Is that the, is that the work I'm hearing? That's the work that you're hearing in your own yard. All right, let's go see. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Yeah. What's up? Hey, man. This is uh, had a... Adam. Adam is our friend from Missouri and he is in need of a stub shaft. Yes, I sir. One right there. <laughs> it's going to work out perfect, my friend. Yeah, e lockers. We're gonna leave those guys to that and we're gonna go back on the wrecker because you guys need a video. All right, so I found some pieces of metal that we can make the pieces out of that we need. I got some cardboard. We've started already. There's the first piece tacked in. It's that, looking amazing. So you just lay it in there like that. If it fits, then you go copy it, make it out of metal. So now I gotta take this over to the world's worst break and I gotta break it. Alright, All right, we got a little bit of an update here. It's coming together. It's getting stiff. Panels are looking good. Got spot for your feet. Making some good progress. So this job has just been like working on the wrecker this week has been nothing but interruption. We're getting a lot done in spite of it. We got Paul coming here. I'm sure we're gonna sit and talk and get nothing done as soon as he gets here, which is fine. Hide your Mountain Dew. Look who it is. <laughs> You're in here working while we're all out there playing. What the heck? This has been the toughest week I've ever had in my life. We're going home to do the very same thing. I have to have a tow truck video, so we're going home to tow truck tomorrow. That's so where we're at. YouTube's easy, Matt. Everyone can do it. Come on. Certainly. What the heck? A real life floorboard. It is. It's going like together it. almost. I like pieces. it. Yeah, I mean, it's a solid second place truck. That's what Rory said. <laughs> yeah, these guys only wasted about 45 minutes of our time, so that was really nice of you. You're welcome. So now Paul knows all my secrets. I'm going to change everything after he leaves. <laughs>
You don't have time. I'm going to turn the tires inside out or something. Yep. Something will throw you off. Well, get it done so I can beat you. Can yeah. you believe the abuse I put up in my own shop? <laughs> I know, in because, your own shop. Like, this is two days in a row. Rory yesterday, Paul today. Eric from BSS is probably going to walk in here tomorrow. I got my hearing protection on because Tom's about to make some noise. Let's get this on. All right, look at this. That looks so good. Good job, Tom. Okay, we're gonna check out leg room. That's been a, a big concern for a lot of people. It's honestly one of my concerns. I like having leg room. So let's look at it and see how it is. <laughs> I can tuck my feet up there. <laughs> It's just too low. It's Look how much room you have here. Yeah, yeah. You can stretch out if you put them on. Straight legs. Yeah. It's a little narrow down there. Not, I mean, not as bad as a Volkswagen Beetle. It could be a lot worse. Yeah. I can't even remember what happened in this video. I mean, we've been to Vid Summit. We came back. We tried to work on it. We did some other things. Multiple recoveries. Yeah, kept getting interrupted with that. It's trail hero, so things are crazy. And we got a lot of friends in town that we want to go hang out and do stuff with them. But we got some stuff done on this. We got the firewall mostly in. We've done basically everything that we can do from the inside. And we've got the seats here and they're just setting. But as soon as we get the tracks for them, we'll get them mounted the right way. All right, well, it's been a crazy ride this time. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. I forgot to put the paddle lock on the fridge. Oh, here it is. This is like a solid, steady plate truck. This is, see if that'll keep Paul out. <laughs>